Right, we are going to do an oil and filter change on our Ford Ranger 2.2 diesel. So let's have a look. We, we're trying to work out the basics there. We haven't done it before. We're making it up as we go along. But we've got the oil dipstick. We found that. We have found the oil filler cap. It's slightly hidden. So there we go. So that's where we're going to put the oil in. We found the oil filter. I've got the light shining down. Now let me see if I can... Get the camera in the right place. Ooh, he's down. He's down in there. I, I coloured the, the top of him orange. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it there. It's a, it's a top down. There he is. Yeah, he's in the middle of the picture there. Um, you can see the hexagonal top. So that's the cap we've got to take off. And when we take that off, inside we should find one of these. If the if the motor factors have sent us the correct oil filter so in here we have got a rubber seal which i guess we take the cap off and that should be one of those round the seal just by the thread on the cap so we'll put a new one of those on and then there's this super cute world's smallest oil filter look at that it's so cute um let's have a look it looks like it's the same both ends it's got this little sort of white bit so to me that looks symmetrical end to end. So we're going to put that on. So we've got all our stuff ready. We've got the oil drain tray. We've got the uh, funnel for filling it back up again so we don't make a mess. Ian's busy reading to work out how much oil we need to put in there. So we look like we know what we're doing. The last and final thing. Have we found the, have we found the sump plug, Ian? We have, yeah. Is that easy to find under there? Guard, so you don't need to take a um, under trailer off, which is quite useful. We don't need to take. Okay, that's cool. So it's it's set that by, right back behind the steering column. The steering right back behind. Oh, here we go. Right, I've got. Ah, oh, there it is. Look at that straight in on it there. Um, oop. So there we go. So we'll yeah, shine the light on it a bit more. Um, right. So we're going to drain that. We'll drain the oil first. Then we'll. Whip the filter, so we'll show you how to do it. Ian's got it all worked out. Ian's got the gloves on today. I'm on, I'm on camera duty today. Right, and Ian, you on it? Yeah. You found out the filter, or are we going to have to look that up on the internet? So, we've got the 2.2 Dura Torque, right? That's the one. So, we've got 8.6 with filter. 8.6 litres? 8.6 litres. That's a good bit, yeah. For such a small filter! If you've got the 3.2 TDCI engine with filter, it's 9.75. Oh, big. That's not bad because you can just buy two five litre drums. We got to buy oh, yeah, one, and, one, one and a half. half. Yeah, yeah. But we get the big drum. Right. What, what size are you on? What span are you on? 13 mil. 13, unlucky for some. Right, are you going to make a mess? I would make a Should I get some blue roll? I'll get, oh, he's got the blue. Look, he's got a bit of blue. He's planning on making a modest amount of mess. None mess. And then, obviously, you've got to be careful not to drump, drump, drop your sump plug. And um, what other things can we go wrong here? Spilling oil, dropping your sump plug. What other disasters have we had doing oil changes? We're looking also for the colour and the texture of the oil coming out. It's a diesel, so it's going to be pretty horrible and black. Well, let's see if we can get the desire. We haven't warmed ours up. There's another point to smoke. You can ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Better off to take it for a drive. Make the oil nice and thin. Or done like a pro. We've got a little dribble. Now for just a small amount of blue roll. Just about that's mainly. And we got and we got the sump plug. We got him out. Has he got a magnet on him? No, they they gone out of fashion magnets, haven't they? He is a little bit magnetic, but is he? He's, he's got no part. I don't think so. No, maybe not. He felt like he was a little, but maybe it was just the last few threads. Why did a magnetic sump plug cost? I bet it didn't seem a bad idea. Right. Well, the oil's draining away. Um, we're gonna have a go at the doing that filter casing. Let's have a go at doing that. Do we reckon we 
reckon we're going to make much mess getting that filter out. Nah. We do. And it's down there, the, the cap is on the top. And as we haven't been driving it, I reckon the oil will have soaked down. Probably. I'll clean up any mess you make, Ian. That's a, that's a deal. That's a deal. Take that one. I'll get all blue off for you. <laughs> right. So what size socket have you read up on this one? 27. 27. And it's a bit like the minis and the BMWs have this sort of cap on them, don't they? I think you're going to have to do it from above, aren't you? Yeah, just need to check, keep an eye on your oil underneath as it slows down the... the oh drip, yeah, the angle the of... drip moves. Okay, so we've got quite a bit of room in there. We can't, we can't see anything on the video, Ian. I can leave the... you got quite a bit of room, but... It's but but it is tight, it? yeah, they can... On the mini, we, the video we did on the mini, that was tight as. You get extension in there, you ain't got that much room. Impact gun, or is that too severe? No, you ain't got room to get an impact. It's only no. plastic. It's only plastic, yeah, you don't want to go. Something, on it as well. something went. Right. He's going to have a go from underneath. So you can get to it fairly easy top and bottom. Do you want me to? Yeah, I'm gonna give you, I'll go, I can get it on for you. Right, there you go. Can you, which way are you going? Towards, you, I guess. towards me, yeah. Well, I'll keep it on. No, I won't keep it on, apparently. Right, go on and try that. No. 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 That is. Right, we're going to have to have a rethink here. Number two. Right, it's quite tricky to get to. Let's have a, we're going to have a re-engineer of that. So, before... Before you park your truck up to do your oil change, before you drain your oil, you want to turn your wheels to the right, as we've done here, because it turns out that Ford have put a little sneaky inspection. So this is just a flap of... There's a flap of rubbery mm. flap, and then if you pull that back, if I get the light in in the right place and the camera in in the right place, you can see there, in the middle of the picture, you can see my orange coloured hex is pointing out. That's what we've got to get on. So you've got a much better angle coming in through the wing. So it turns out. So have you got a slightly longer socket on there now, Ian? Yeah, so I've got an extension on there, haven't it? It's still, you've still got to hold it on. Did it go? Uh, I'm hoping that one. It felt like something there. Let's have a look. Yeah, oh. There we go, we've worked it out. Sorry, we, we'll get complaints. You should have worked that out before the video. Yeah, don't try doing it down through there. It's giving you a nice bit of room to see it though. It looks like there's enough room, it's just tight. But yeah, going in through that wheel arch, that was easy. Right then, let's have a look, what is it? You know. I'm gonna try not to make a mess. I've got the, I should have bought that tray, I've got that tray outside. Right, let me go and grab the tray, We're and good. then we'll dismantle okay. that. There's not much oil in it, you're right. Oh. There's that. Yeah, I've got one more right. Let me take the light away, I've got enough light. I think, is he on like one of those probes or what? You just got to give him a... Oh, that's going to splash all over there you. Oh. Yeah, so yeah. it looks like it doesn't matter which way up we get it. Give it a little clean out first before you go put it in there. Doesn't seem like there's a difference. Blue roll. Don't, gotta love blue roll. Let me just empty what's in there. Okay. I'm going to empty that. Then we'll get that cleaned up and we'll come and put it all back together. Right, so us amateurs doing the oil filter, we did get a bit of oil out of the oil filter, so I got some cleaning up to do afterwards. Um, but as Ian pointed out, if we'd have perhaps left it a bit longer draining from the sump, there may have been less drained out of the oil filter housing. Well, if you do one at a time. Ah, oh, and you can use the dip tray. You can move your drip tray, tray yeah. So if you're doing it on your mum's drive. But be you just need to move it straight across towards the arm 
Yeah. You put it underneath your transfer box. That seems to be where it drips from. Seems. There you go. So there you go. If you tip there. Look, we've got a little bit of dribblage there. Right. So we're going to do. So Ian's put you putting the sump plug back in now, Ian. Yeah. Yeah. Right, we've clean clean up that oil filter housing. Oh, and we need to, I'll get the little screwdriver and we'll change that little because there's normally a little rubber ring just in in there. We'll we'll lever that out and put the new one in. Right, we're giving that a super little clean inside there. Looks like new. Sometimes they give you a little groove area where you can get it. The old one we're not too worried about as no. we're replacing it. Give a little clean round the groove where you've whipped that out. Any dirt lurking in there. And there we go, one new O ring. And he's greasing it up. It'll make it slide on a bit easier. But yeah, make sure you get it in exactly the right and it's fully seated all the way round. Because they have a nasty habit of moving if you're not careful. Yeah, so it doesn't go up against this lip here. It sits in its own groove. Yeah, just at the end of the threads there. Get into the groove because you've got to prove. What am I doing say? saying? Well, that's a firm push in again. We worked out, it doesn't matter which way round it goes. That's all ready. All right, you can put that probably refit that from the top. You've got long arms, it's all right. You can't really some oil filters you can fill them with oil so that when the engine starts, it's not starved of oil initially. Um, so but it's, it's not really possible to do that on this. The other thing, because when you change oil, you've got no oil, you, you put new oil in, you start it, because the filter's empty, it has to pump oil through the filter first, I think. So you get a period of time with no oil, which isn't good. Um, you could, if you were clever, work out which fuse it is, or stop your injector pump or something. Um, but I think it's quite tricky on a diesel, isn't it? I think it pumps up pretty quick. I think it pumps up pretty quick. We're, we're just going to do it and we'll see how quickly. What you've got to watch is your oil light. So when you turn your ignition on, your oil light, and your oil light goes off when oil pressure. So we'll fill this filler up here. You don't need to watch us do that. Um, and then we'll have a look at um, filling it and see how long that oil light stays on. So we've got our trusty filler can here. And he just happens to have three litres in him. So how many are we reckoning in? 8.6 it claims. So if we get like eight in, just in case there's a residual amount that's been left in there. We're easy now. So yeah, you can read the manual. Specifications on oils are a nightmare. But you want to be putting a good quality oil in. So I think we use semi synthetic we got fully synthetic. Fully synthetic, is it? Oh, flash. Yeah. So it should just last long with a fully synthetic. You want to loosen that other cap a bit of that on the top there? Yeah, it come out too quick now. Yeah. Yeah. In she goes. Right, we'll fill that up again. That's that. Right, let's get and fill that can up and get some more in. Right then, I've just been distracted by a new delivery, but that's for another video. Ian's filled up. You, how much you put in? You put eight in? So we were at three to start with, with, and I've done another like four and a half. Four and a half, so seven and a half by my mass. Let's have a look yeah. how much. Now obviously it takes a while for it to settle down, but let's have a look. Go and bring it out into the light. Let's have a little look, see. You half wiped it out as you were pulling it out. Give him another dip. On all the way out and let's have a look. That's it. Oh, it's so clean we can't see. So it is, it's above the fill. But, it's above the, right. But we haven't cranked it to fill our uh, oil, oil filter. filter. Yeah. Right, let's have a look, let's have a go. Right. We're all safe to start, are we? Uh, where's the oil cap? Where's the keys? The oil cap is 
Oh, I've got the keys. You got the old cat. I'll put it on the table. Yeah, yeah right. We, we got the keys. We're good. We're good. Right, so what we're looking at is the oil light. Where's the oil light? Hold on. Right, where's the oil light on one of these? Oh, there he Oh, there's engine. Oh, there we go. We got him there. So he's that little red light at the bottom there. So we're looking how quickly he goes off. Right, here we go. There we go, he's off. So let that run for a bit. As long as that light's gone off, you know you've filled up the oil filter, you've got oil all around the system, and leave and then leave it. We'll let that drain and then we'll check it again and just make sure we've definitely got enough in there. Just double check. That's it. Not that complicated, not that easy. We've just now got to clear up. Um, so good luck if you're doing that.